Hello folks, Sergey Metelsky here from BlenderOS.com and while next big multi-part full-fledged tutorial coming up, I want to warm you up with some quick tip about how to control your text in Blender using animation nodes. Because as you know, text is an essential tool for motion graphics and while Blender allows you to create and manipulate text, it might be a tedious task to uh, to control more uh, complex setups. So as you can see here, for example, this is a setup of three text objects with same text string, same font, uh, same size, with a little difference in uh, offset and extrude parameters here. So, and yeah, it all nice and dandy until I want to change something, uh, some parameters of uh, font object itself. So for example, so let's say I want to change text string. So I select uh, this uh, parent object and let's change something here. Jeez. Yeah, and I have to do this for all of the text objects. Imagine there's more of them. I have to enter edit mode for each of them and write or copy paste same strings over and over again. Um, this is not very convenient. And let's say I want to change uh, uh, horizontal alignment, so to the uh, left. And once again, I have to do this for all of the objects or select them and alt click on the parameter. But alt clicking is not always work, not for all parameters. So for example, I can't do it with uh, uh, font uh, here. For example, I want to change it to something, something else. And as you can see, it works for only for active objects. So yeah, you can see the problem here. It's not very convenient when it comes to complex setups. How can we fix it with animation nodes? I'm gonna show it to you right in the second. So let's set it to center again. So I'm going to my animation node setup here. I enable auto execution. And now when I change text string for my uh, Blender text rig, back to Blender, boom, everything is in place. So if I want to change font face, I just, you know, just uh, selecting desired font face and it works just fine as you can see. Uh, horizontal alignment, no problem. And um, all of this made with these two nodes. And you might think right now, Sergey, where's the catch? Uh, yeah, I see you, you're gonna switch to another node tree and there will be some node inferno going on right there. But wait, I'm gonna show it to you in a second. So we go to groups, node tree, and as you can see, it's not that bad, isn't it? So there's just two kind of a helper uh, sub-programs here, uh, one of which is just a simple expression that uh, extracts children object from a uh, given object here on input, filtering objects by uh, substring in its names, and output object list. This one's really simple, okay? And the one that do actual work is, you know, just a set of uh, uh, repeating nodes here. Uh, and essentially, we get our parent text object here. Uh, in our case, this is Blender text rig. And uh, first, we retrieve its children object here, filtered by this substring here, as you can see. And uh, then with object attribute input, we retrieve a value of a given parameter for our uh, parent object. Uh, whether it's, uh, you know, any parameter, body, align, x, font, size, and then we just pass it to uh, children objects without any modifications, as you can see. So this list of children objects here gets uh, retrieved parameters from parent object, and th that's the trick. And if you want to, to add some more parameters, you just select this node, this node, shift D, you write in something like, I don't know, let's let it be uh, resolution, uh, copy data path, paste it uh, here after this dot, and control C, control V. So here's uh, children object and parent object going right here. And now you can see when we change resolution of our parent object, it changes, uh, we have to uh, execute node tree, it changes for our children objects as well. 
So that's the whole magic of it. And the best part of it is that, let me switch it back, execute, is that uh, when to is that when you want to create some more text rigs like this one, you just, you know, let's say we copy this whole thing, Shift D. And um, first of all, yeah, this new rig, I'm going to call it new text rig. These objects are, you know, naturally are no longer tied to, uh, to this initial rig, you know. So uh, whenever we change something here in our new rig object, new rig it doesn't do anything naturally as you can see and to make a new connection between uh, this parent and its children we just uh, copy these nodes here set our new text rig right here let's uh, set it to always for now and as you can see now it works just fine once again um, alignment uh, center resolution yeah and uh, these are separate objects which you can manipulate easily there are still you know independent objects here so uh, yeah I think you got the idea now uh, and the last thing you know like a cherry on top of this cake is you might want to ask what are what are these triggers here so actually to uh to get some heat off our cpu or gpu i don't know yeah probably gpu and make our scene manipulation more uh, more fast we want to uh disable all the automatic updates on uh, tree changes or frame changes and we want to set some custom triggers so every time one of these parameters uh triggered Animation node will update only then and not always. So as you can see, it's much more faster to manipulate. So that's it for today's quick tip. I hope you find it useful. So check out my website, blenderos.com, my Facebook, Twitter, uh, subscribe to my channel, uh, hit this notification bell, whatever that is, and we'll see you soon in the next video. Cheers.